Hi, I'm Arson Kashkashian, the head buyer here at the Boulder Bookstore, and welcome to our YouTube video. So, I'm going to talk to you about a couple books today. Both these books are shortlisted for the Man... Actually, it's not the Man Booker Prize anymore. Both of these books are shortlisted for the Booker Prize. Um, the Booker Prize is probably the top prize in English now. Anybody who writes in English in the world is uh, eligible for it. Before, it used to be attached to Britain and Britain's um, more recent former colonies, so not the United States. But now it's been opened up to the whole world. And in the last five years, a couple of Americans have won it. Paul Bellet Beatty for Sellout and George Sa Saunders for Lincoln and the Bardo. So this year was interesting because on the long list were a couple of old favorites, including Margaret Atwood for Testaments and Hilary Mantel for Mirror in the Light. But both of those writers didn't make the short list. And who made the short list were six writers, most of them unknown to American readers um, or very little known. And so I want to talk about two of those books on the short list, one of which I read last year when it came out and the other I'm currently reading. So the first one I want to talk about is The Shadow King by Maza Mengisti. Maza uh, came to Boulder last year when this book came out. It actually came out about a year ago uh, right now. And she came to the Boulder for the Jaipur Literature Festival. And I had the honor of interviewing her in the Canyon Theater, where she talked about the book. And it was a great conversation. We kind of ranged all throughout the book. But basically, what this book is about is the Italian wars in Ethiopia. And it's told from multiple points of view, mainly from the Ethiopian point of view. But she does have a point of view of an Italian soldier that she brings up uh, time and time again. And you get kind of the inside of what Ethiopian society was like at the time. One of the narrators is uh, basically a slave, or at least an indentured servant, but somebody who is, uh, really has to work for these, this household. And she's beaten, she's treated terribly. And then one of the other narrators is the woman of the house, one of what, who's either beating her or having her beaten. And so when war comes in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia, a lot of women took up arms and went to the front with their um, spouses, with their brothers. And so these two women end up at the front. And at first, it's to serve the army, you know, to make sure that they've got food and they've got, you know, doing household types of things. But it eventually evolves to women taking up arms. And these two women who end up having to work together after this kind of master-slave relationship end up being fearsome fighters and quite kind of the duo. Uh, one of the other characters is an Italian uh, soldier, and he's a kind of lowly soldier. He brings his camera along, and he just wants to photograph different things. He loves photography for the art of it. But he ends up shooting atrocities because he has the camera, and the Italians are so proud of these terrible things that they're doing that they ask him to take pictures of them. And so these stories come together in a beautiful way. Um, characters are very interesting. You get a lot of history that I had no idea of. And a lot of it is based on truth, at least the historical piece of the truth. And in Maza's personal story, it was her grandmother or her great-grandmother did take up arms and fight against the Italians herself. So she has some personal story in this. So I'm rooting for her. I'd love to see her get the booker. It'd be amazing. I thought this was the best book I read last year. I keep track of things like that because I'm a book nerd. And um, so I'm really rooting for her. The book I'm currently reading is The New Wilderness by Diane Cook. Diane Cook uh, lives in Brooklyn. She's an American. And her first book of short stories I read a few years ago called Man vs. Nature. This was a great collection of stories. And it was all these... Uh, stories that a lot of them take place in future dystopias or or just weird natural things that are happening, floods and crazy things about man and nature, especially as nature goes awry. And so in this book, which is a novel, this is sometime in the future and everybody kind of lives in this big city and all the land in America, I'm assuming, is being used to support the city. So there's no people living in rural areas or towns. And so the main character's daughter is getting sick in the city. She can't breathe. She, it seems like she's, she could die. And there's this opportunity that they want to, almost like a survivor show, 
They want to put 20 people in the last wilderness to see if they can survive and see if there's a new way of life. So she decides she wants to be one of those 20 people along with her husband and bring her daughter because maybe the fresh air of the wilderness will help them. So the book opens and they've been in the wilderness. She's not even sure how long, five, six, or seven years. And the daughter is much better now. Their community has dwindled from 20 to 11. And they're going from place to place. And it's a gigantic wilderness. They have to cross mountain ranges. So it's a big space. But they are still um, at the mercy of the government because they are supposed to report to what they call posts every now and then. And they've been ordered to report to the lower post, which is about ten, eight week journey from where they've ever been before. And they have to go on this journey and they're not sure why they're being ordered there. But it's great, you get all this interpersonal stuff, you know, done much better than it's done on reality TV, um, because she's a great writer. And so it's a fun book that brings up all sorts of issues with, when we, when we look at everything as being in service to people, what is the end point of that? And what is worth preserving? And so these questions are really well addressed. So I hope you pick up one of these books. Shadow King is in paperback. This just came out, New Wilderness in hardback. But they're really books to make you think, to give you a different perspective on things, one rooted in history, one rooted in an unpleasant future. Thanks for watching. Enjoy all our YouTube videos.